a quick instructional video on how to find high and low spots on a bodywork panel. Right, so I noticed yesterday that, can we see that? Oh, when I dragged my phone along the panel, it made a horrible noise, so let's try not to do that. You can't actually see it, but that's fairly true. As is that, as is that, as is that. As is that, as is that, as is that. I could say as is that. Ah, quite a lot. So anyway, I've went along the bottom of the door with a straight edge, this thing here. And I've used that lip. Oh, you can't see it, the light's terrible. It's really, really beautiful in Scotland. 10 minutes ago, I think that's the thing begin to come on. Right, so I'll point it away. Well, let's throw Betty out. Hello. Right, so there's a little lip along there. Okay, and that is the thing coming on. So that's where the top of my straight edge has been going, up here. And I've been putting it at Betty's back, the star of the show, uh, putting it along there. Then using the two reference points to see how straight or not that panel was. Now, it actually turns out it wasn't too bad. Because of our lack of material resources, there were a couple of highs and a couple of lows. We got Thor. I am the god of thunder. I am the god of thunder. Right. And we bashed down the sort of a high, higher bits. That's where the metal sticks up. Let's get Betty back in. So that's a high. I bump in the metal up the way. Uh, there was a couple down here. No, can't see them. I'm great at making videos, aren't I? David Putney, watch out. Right. So I used the bodywork hammer and that. It's got a sharp point. That's now low. Uh, because because of the... Eh, uh, where did the eh uh, come from? Because of the lack of materials, instead of covering the whole thing... See if I can fold my hand a bit better than that. With a layer of uh, body filler. I managed to knock the... We'll get my... Zambo action live cam going. I, I, I got I, I knocked down the high spots and now this is fairly good. So the next thing that I did was I got myself a pen, Sharpie. Am I advertising for Sharpie? No, but it's what we had to hand. When I put the straight edge from here to here, these two points between them were a bit low. Then I pulled it further back. That was a bit low between there and there. Then I pulled it further back again. Marked up my two low spots. So this whole area. Let's get my hand in here. This whole area needs a little skim of body filler and the rest of it's actually okay. Now, what's the blue paint for? I'm glad you asked that. This is another tool that I'm going to patent. Prof painting. It's a piece of flat wood with some sandpaper on it. Now, after I applied the body filler, the bundle, should I call it body filler? It's very, very complicated, isn't it? After I applied the bondo, let's just call it bondo because it's a nice easy word. I then got my uh, soon to be patented uh, piece of sandpaper on a flat piece of wood and rubbed back and forward. My camera works well, man, check that out. Do, 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 do. Then I change directions. Do, 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 do. Da, do, 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 do. I hope I don't get a strike for using somebody else's music, but there we go. Then I gave it a little shugle back and forward. Shugling's always put important, guys, right? So what happens is, the blue paint gets knocked off with the sandpaper where the filler, come on, Betty, Shows your worth. Well, the filler's uh, too high between these two points. The sandpaper knocks that off. Then any little ridges you've got are low points. The paint stays in them. So when I go back to put more body filler on this, I only have to apply it to the bits where I can see the blue paint. Now, if I, there's a name for this. Uh, it's called a guide coat. So there's thousands of videos on YouTube on how to use guide coats. This is just your uncle dog, Mr. Z guy's attempts at it. So they flush. That blue bit's low, that blue bit there is low, that bit there is low. And I did a little map because we're so resource hungry at this moment in time. I don't want to use, uh, overuse any uh, any materials because we're quickly running out of everything. So before I apply the body filler, the bondo, I'm going to give this a quick rub with some sandpaper. 
all round about that area. I'm not bother with that, that's rough enough. Blow it down with some compressed air to get all the dust out of it. Then we will apply a very, very thin layer of body filler across here. So that should be that flattened out. It still looks pretty mad. I did some more body work on it. Around about the door handle, there was a bit up here. Oh, the camera's went. Come on, camera! Do your thing. Right, there's, a, there's a bit there, the, the light's going. And I used a similar procedure, but I just used a, an orbital sander, which is lying about down here someplace. There we go. And I attached that onto my trusty Hoover from Lidl's. So that sucks all the dust particles away. The metal bit at the bottoms had some layers of fiberglass in it. And I've painted it a couple of times. Before I left yesterday, I whacked in some holes. And there's one there. That's just a drain hole. One there, and there's another three up along here that you can't see. So the bottom edge has come up quite good. I'm not bothered about over-finishing that because it's the bottom of a door in the back of a van. Not a lot of people are going to see. So... These videos are getting longer, aren't they? Yesterday's theme, when is enough enough? I'm not putting any more wax oil on this. It just looks absolutely ridiculous. So that's ready to go on. I, I, I've made the call on it at, at last. I put some seam seal around about any welded areas. Can you see that? Uh, again, the lights are really going bad now. A, a, any place where the manufacturer had welded stuff together. There we go. There's one line down here. I put some seam seal on it. Am I bothered? That looks like a mess. No. All I'm trying to do is protect it from getting rusty again. So, from Zambo, from Betty, in Zambo land, I'd like to thank all my subscribers for watching this riveting 